We have three updates to the Eye Atlas, and maybe even our best shot yet to clearly check out the third interstellar object ever found detected traversing our solar system. Something from deep space is glowing green, and it's bound for our sun. They call it 3 Eye Atlas, but it's no ordinary comet. What many overlooked at first were its carbon emissions, which are totally reversed compared to any comet from our solar system. This isn't just a fun fact for astronomers, it indicates that this object was born in a place far colder and stranger than the universe we share as our backyard. We're about to peel back the layers of this enigma, revealing the reason its green glow is so bizarre, and why scientists are racing against time to examine it. In emerald light, a visitor, a ghostly green light is cutting through the blackness of space, and it's a sight that has scientists both thrilled and deeply puzzled. This is not your typical comet. This is 3i Atlas, a messenger from an entirely different star system. And to put it mildly, it's acting weird. In July 2025, astronomers at the Atlas Survey in Hawaii spotted a faint smudge moving at a breakneck pace to 100,000 miles per hour. That's fast enough to escape the sun's gravity. You see, this object wasn't just passing through the neighborhood, it was a tourist from another galaxy, confirmed to be on a hyperbolic orbit, meaning once it leaves, it's never coming back. It became only the third interstellar object ever recorded, following the strange cigar-shaped Daumuamua and the more conventional Tuiborasa. But not all things are what they seem, and 3i Atlas quickly proved it was in a league of its own. Many people picture the classic image of a comet, a bright head and a long, wavy tail. When the XMR's Trace Gas Orbiter caught a glimpse of Atlas as it traveled across Mars, it saw a bright, condensed coma the hazy envelope surrounding the nucleus, but no tail. None. This was the first red flag, like seeing a lion without its mane. But the real shock came when scientists pointed their most powerful tools, like the James Webb Space Telescope, at the visitor. The comet was glowing with that signature green light that usually comes from a molecule called diatomic carbon C. When sunlight hits this molecule, it gets excited and emits green light. The weird part? The pattern of carbon emissions was unlike anything seen before. Usually, comets are mostly water and ice, but Atlas was spewing out enormous amounts of carbon dioxide, much more than carbon monoxide or water. Its CO2 water ratio was completely upside down. What many neglected to notice was the immense distance at which this was happening. The comet was already releasing approximately 88 pounds of water vapor every second, while it was still 2.9 astronomical units from the sun about 270 million miles away. At that bone-chilling distance, water ice should be frozen solid. For most comets, this kind of activity, called out gassing, doesn't begin in earnest until they are much, much closer to the sun's warmth. That 3i atlas was so active so early suggested it was composed of much more volatile materials, substances that turn to gas at exceptionally low temperatures. This wasn't just a dirty snowball, it was more like a spherical mass of cosmic dry ice, bubbling and steaming its way through our solar system. This strange chemical fingerprint was a massive clue, pointing to an origin story written in a place significantly colder and chemically distinct from where comets in our own solar system were born. It was more than just a rock, it was a perfectly preserved piece of another world, containing secrets that could rewrite everything we believe to be true. What 3i Atlas is hiding, the bizarre behavior of 3i Atlas is a cosmic puzzle, and the leading theory sounds like something straight out of science fiction. Scientists believe that deep inside the comet's nucleus, volatile substances like frozen carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide were buried beneath a layer of water ice and dust. As the comet journeyed from the frigid interstellar void into the warmer regions of our sun's outer system, these super-chilled gases began to sublimate, turning directly from solid to gas. This created enormous internal pressure, like shaking a can of soda for a million years. Eventually, that pressure became too much, and the outer crust fractured, forming vents that allowed the trapped gases and water vapor to burst out into space far earlier than expected. 
This pressure cooker model explains the early activity, but it also paints a picture of an object that is fundamentally unstable. What many overlooked is that this process could also explain its strange appearance. The powerful jets of gas erupting from its core carried fine dust grains with them, creating the dense coma observed by telescopes, but not enough force to form a long, majestic tail. The dust itself provided another clue. When scientists measured how light scattered off it, using a technique called polarimetry, they found another anomaly. The pattern didn't match the dust from comets in our solar system. This suggests that the dust grains around 3i Atlas have a different structure, size, or even mineral makeup. It's like comparing sand from a Hawaiian beach to sand from the Sahara. Both are sand, but their properties reveal very different origins. This makes 3i Atlas a specimen far more valuable than its predecessor to Iborosov, which behaved much more like a typical comet from our Oort cloud. And it's a world away from the first interstellar visitor, Aumuamua, which showed no cometary activity at all, leading to wild speculation from researchers like Avi Loeb that it might be artificial.